how to export images for web using Adobe Photoshop. Once you've got your image ready to export, go to File, then go to Export, and then Save for Web Legacy. A dialog box will pop up. The settings I like to use are here in the top right hand corner. The range of quality for web is generally between 40 and 60. I tend to use 60, which works for me. Uncheck progressive and embedded color profile and click on optimize. So that one needs to be checked as well. Convert for RGB or sRGB and use document profile is generally what I tend to use. Size wise, if you're using a hero image on your website, 1280 is a good width to use. If you need specific sizes, I will show you a quick workaround after we've exported this image. So once we've got our image size in there at 1280, click on save. Just name the file something relevant to what the picture is and then press save. And there you have your image exported. If you want your image to be a specific size before exporting, I recommend setting up a new document. To do this, we'll go to file and then new. We're going to go 1280 by 720 pixels. And we're going to go 144 in resolution. RGB because it is for screen. Click create. And that's created our document. I'm going to go get our document now and I'm going to import that. So I'm just going to copy and paste it. So select all, Command A, Command C. I'm going to Command V for pasting it in. I'm going to zoom out. Uh, Command T is uh, transform. I'm just going to drag that in until it comes into view. Zoom in. Command plus. Just resize the image until it fits as you want it. It's got a little bit bigger because I want the hands in the middle. Now that I've got the image as I want it, I'm going to go to um, File and Export save for web legacy and as you can see already we've got this size already set at 1280 by 720 and if you've got the settings already as we had them before so 60 in the quality optimized and uh, use document profile and convert to srgb just press save and then you've got your hero image there you can just type in hero at the end of the name and press save and then you've got your image saved at a specific size for your website if you are exporting different images for web on a regular basis, I recommend setting up document presets within Adobe Photoshop. I've created a helpful tutorial which I'm going to put on screen now. Thanks for watching this video, consider subscribing and I'll see you in another video.